Today, we're going to take a closer look at my favorite gloves. I was just outside shoveling snow again, and it reminded me of a talk I had with a guy at the motorcycle show in Sweden this year. Thank you, Hans, and his daughter Johanna or Johanna. And I'm really surprised how many beginners that watch my videos. And because of that, I think it's really important for us to take it back a little bit, try to help and uh, make it much easier for the beginners to navigate in this overflown market we call adventure or ADV. If you go down to your local dealer, you will find gloves in all shapes or form. And most of them try to appeal to your type of riding or bike. But the gloves that looks the best is not always the best for your needs. So to remember that the glove is there to offer you enough protection, comfort and in some cases to keep you dry. But I'm not going to tell you what is the best gloves on the market or that kind of stuff because Gloves are so highly individual when it comes to fit, when it comes to size, when it comes to your need, what you're riding, where you ride. And uh, that is also one of the reasons why I recommend many pairs of gloves. So instead of telling you what gloves you should choose, I will try to give you a little bit of better insight so you can make a better purchase for your own or for yourself. The first glove I want to talk about is the Rukka Virium 2.0. That is a Gore-Tex glove that I'm uh, really impressed with and uh, really happy with. I had a previous version as well. I've ridden with this for many years and it fits my hands really well. There's just one small minus with this one is that uh, because of the plastic here that you use to um, wipe your shield when it rains, it, it's, it's sewn in a pretty awkward way so you kind of feel it in your finger. So when you ride with this glove for uh, many hours, you will feel that uh, this is bugging you a little bit. Uh, the grip inside the palm is really well made. Yeah, I really enjoy this. I know that uh, people don't uh, appreciate this notch too much, but for me that is not a problem where I rest my hands on the handlebars. A really good Gore-Tex glove that uh, have served me well for many, many years. The second glove I'm really happy with is the Climb Vanguard GTX. That is a short glove that also is really well fitted. Uh, love the leather grip inside, well protected over the knuckles. And yeah, it's just a really good glove for rainy condition. It's a little bit thinner than the Rukka gloves, so when I ride I get a little bit cold because the padding on the toms are a little bit uh, how to say it, lighter than other early season, late season or rain gloves. In the summer it's no problem, but uh, early and late season it can be a little bit cold on the thumbs. Aside from that, I, it grips really well, it doesn't get too bulky on the, on the grip. So this is also a glove I'm really happy with. Next one is the Yamaha MTB gloves or Enduro gloves. I'm not sure who makes this or if it's something Yamaha is rebranding, but this glove is excellent for my mountain bike riding. It fits me like, yeah, it fits really well. It's really good ventilating and uh, between the fingers and uh, the whole thing is just super ventilated. And I also use this on um, trails when I'm out riding my motorcycle. The protection is good enough on the knuckles for my needs, but uh, still it's not the same protection level on these gloves that you probably see in uh, some of the more heavy duty gloves, but it's all a compromise. Exceptionally good gloves. And I really enjoy the rubbery plastic grip on the fingers because you always ride with your two fingers on the front and rear brake and you have really good feel and grip with it. Great gloves. Next one on the list is the Adventure Spec Alpine Windproof Glove. And this is by far the best gloves right out of the box I ever had. They just fit me like no other gloves have had done so far. Most gloves need to break in before they get really comfortable. But these gloves are just perfect fit for each finger. Really well designed. There's a little bit of padding on the knuckles. 
but still it's light. It feels uh, really snug on the hand without being too uh, bulky in any way. And I really love the grip inside the glove. It grips the handlebars really well. And yeah, I just feel this is really great gloves for the value. There's only one problem and you can see it in my pawns. When I rest my hands on the handlebars, this padding on the outside of your arm is just a little bit too high. I wish it was, yeah, let me show you. I wish it was a kind of like a, just a centimeter or something shorter than when I rest my hands. It, was, it will, uh, doesn't get so, um, how do you say it? It, it kind of bugs me when I ride with the gloves for many hours or days on out, this kind of gets your hand a little bit achy. So I always have to bring with me an extra pair of gloves on my trips to uh, kind of get your fingers to rest. That is the only minus I have um, discovered with this glove so far. Absolutely love them and can be highly recommended. And the last gloves that I would highly recommend is the Climb Inversion Pro Windproof Gloves. And as you can see, these gloves are without a doubt the ones that are worn the most. When I first got these gloves, I felt like the pointy finger was just a little bit tight, so it was a little bit awkward or kind of, yeah, I'm not how, sure how to say it, but after using it for a while, sweating them out and uh, giving them a proper wear, they fit me really well and um, they're light, perfect grip, uh, no bulky thing on the arms. But there's also one minus with these gloves and that is when you ride for hours, there is the way the ladder is sewn into the gloves makes they a little bit on the side of the fingernails, between the skin and the fingernails, it's kind of begging that for many hours. So it feels like you, your fingers get a little bit sore after a while. So my solution to that is that I bring these gloves on my trips and I have this in my backpack as well. So I kind of change, interchange them between the days or when I feel my fingers is getting um, sore or my pawn is getting sore. And I always bring a rain glove well, because if it starts raining, these gloves are not waterproof and uh, getting wet and soaked and what, what not, I don't like that. So yeah, absolutely love them. I have had this one for four, five years now, I think. Five, six years maybe. Really good gloves. And this is kind of my old setup. I got these gloves. These are heated gloves from Iron Gias. They are really well built with a lot of protection, they are thick, without being too bulky. They fit just a little bit too snug for my fingers. I felt it should be just a little bit bigger. But the inner lining is kind of like a... Yeah, it's really comfortable. Even if you get sweaty palms, you can take it in and out of the gloves really good, uh, really easy. And it has a compartment for your battery underneath your arm. So you hook it up with batteries and you get the uh, heated gloves. I've just got this, I got them for free. I will make sure to test them uh, properly. Uh, so I won't rate them uh, yet, but um, yeah, I thought it was um, nice to mention that heated gloves can also be an option if you ride in the early season or late season and you are really cold on your fingers. Uh, there's one thing I notice is that the battery doesn't last so long, so uh, that's a little bit annoying. Maybe the batteries are something wrong with, or um, yeah, I'm not sure. I have to investigate that uh, further. But uh, so far, the, the feel of them is really good. And another really good thing with this glove that isn't on any other of the kind of rain gloves or winter gloves, you have the wipers on both fingers, not, on, not, ju not only just on the left hand. So it's easy to wipe off the visor when you're riding.